Hi there, folks. I'm Gene of RPG, and welcome back to Lindblum. I love this place. With me is my bestest friend. Hello, it's Lacey again. Yeah! Lacey likes Lindblum, right? Yeah! Polum oh. is another reference, by the way, to Final Fantasy IV. Anyway, you were saying... I want my own action figures of the royal family. I need my own little Sid to uh, use to scare the neighbors. <laughs> to use to scare the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, if I use it, maybe their dogs will start bar stop barking at me. What if they Ooh. bark more? BB shop shopping. Yeah. Wow, this nut smells really good. That's something, BB. <laughs> That's something. This place. This place has a lot of unusual things. Smelly nuts? Yep, that's kind of... Is this food? It looks good. The sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Mmm, sesame buns. The festival of the hunt sale ends today. Wow, there's gonna be a festival. Oh, everything's on sale. Buy some more nuts. Yep. Are you oh, friends with the Oh, it's a coupon nuts. Yes, it is a Koopo nut. The Koopo Koopo's nuts smell good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm going off of what Vivi said. Ooh, a free nut. Yeah. This could be That's so the dirty. Best kind of nut. <laughs> well, they let a bunch of animals loose, and uh, yeah, that's what they do during the festival of the hunt. They let a lot of animals loose. That sounds wise. No, oh, it sounds like fun, kind of like a petting zoo, I think. But uh, maybe I think it's probably gonna be more like the running of the bulls, like in Spain. You know, with bulls yeah. running on the street chasing the people. Yeah, I never understood that. <laughs> so I mentioned last part that I found it rather humorous that that one uh, waitress had never ridden on an airship because, in order to get from anywhere to anywhere in Lindblom, you have to ride on the air cabs, which is a little airship. Well, maybe she doesn't classify it as a ship, because it's a cab. I, I guess, but it, all, all things said and done, it's it's an airship. Ooh, the industrial <laughs> district. Sounds In industrious. Indeed. So, this place is mostly just flavor. Uh, there's nothing that you need to do here. But uh, I do believe there's some treasure and just some interesting stuff to see. So we're going to see it. Nimitz. I, I do not think that that's a reference to a Final Fantasy game off the top of my head. All engineers. Hmm. The structure of the city itself I think is really interesting and pretty. Indeed. I, I, it's I a love kitty! It. it is a kitty. There's a hunk. <laughs> so that gives you an idea of what the SIDS usually look like versus the Ogloppy is now. Well, aside from the face, but, uh... Mm. Developed the first mist-powered ship, led the airship Armada, and brought peace to the continent. Mm. Yeah. This is amazing! You can't find architecture like this anywhere. The Regency is so advanced, I believe he said. <laughs> hmm. It is quite advanced for everything else you see around here. That is true, although they're, they're talking about architecture. They just kind of look like buildings. Uh, Lacey, in the front or in the back? In the back! That's right, you're a smart guy. Nobody believes what I say. Putting the engine in the back results in more power. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, in the front. Mm. No, putting it in the back is more effective. <laughs> the game likes to have, I don't know if I'd really call that subtle, but little jokes like that. A little off color. Yeah. Most engineers are weird. Why is that? That's I'm married question. to an engineer and I can confirm this. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, of the two of us here, I think Lacey would have a better idea than me. <laughs> Engineers can be very weird. But you gotta love them, right? They're hilarious. 
<laughs> widget. <laughs> And since a lot of engineers own cats, uh, that person went and got cats. So, Lacey, is it true? Do engineers own lots of cats? The engineer I married does. We have six cats. <laughs> yeah, Lacey's got six cats. <laughs> but uh, here we are, back in the bar with Bobo. There's Shig. Shig is all upset that Grandma's not paying attention. She yeah, loves the she, pickle more than me. That sounds very inappropriate. She loves her pickles more than me. Well, you know. They make money, <laughs> you drink the money. Ooh, someone <laughs> has no manners. Yeah, uh, Cujo. Good timing. It's I just Bobo. came up with a new, new dish. Uh, no thanks, I'm full now. Aw, that's too bad. Hmm, does the day know something about Bobo's cooking that we don't? Well, I mean, the soup was, uh, something do silence. Oh no, Barry! <laughs> Who is throwing up? What was in that dish? <clears throat> so it's probably good Zidane said no. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna build a really big airship so I can go everywhere with my friends. That's a nice dream. It is a nice dream. Bloodruff? It's an engine. It's a steam engine. Ooh. Which is what powered the airship that can fly without mist, if you mm -hmm. recall from last time. The Hildegard. Indeed, the Hildegard. Named after Regent Sid's uh, wife. Here is a mimic card. It's it's just a card of a mimic. We'll be seeing a mimic later. Another kitty. It's a kitty on the bed. And a steepled hat. So if you want a cone head, you can. Well, actually, the steepled hat is more similar to Vivi and the Black Mage's hats. They are referred to as steepled hats in most Final Fantasy games. I see. Well, I'm, they still kind of, they're a little triangle shapey. Yeah, they are indeed cones. They are indeed cones. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's more like a Black Mage hat. So I forget if we do any shopping in this part or not because it's been a while. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, we're going back to the business district, which tells me that, yeah, we're probably going to be doing some shopping. Spend that money. Spend that money. Uh, indeed. And uh... I, I hope Grandma's <laughs> savings, you know, does us well. Yeah, Grandma's savings that we didn't need because I won 10,000, Gil. Yeah, you're just a I asked the, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that That is pretty much what it amounts to. You're just a jerk. Yeah. But that's okay, because we're a monkey thief. We're supposed to be a jerk. Mm. <laughs> so much of the game is about stealing. <laughs> and about Zidane being a huge jerk, yes. Yeah, pretty much. But here is the Pepe's Milk Shop. Priscilla, a theater ship blew up and crashed in Alexandria. Yeah, that did happen. There is a sundial clock fountain. Interesting. I, th I thought Grandma it was potpourri. interesting. Yes, fun fact. I did not know what the word potpourri was when I first played this. I thought her name was Potpourri. So to the right here is the standard uh, equipment shop. Uh, there's Heather and Rio, which Rio is looking at all those swords hanging, hanging on the wall. This poor girl is bored out of her mind and wants to go somewhere else. Pretty typical. I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. That is a reference to Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it sure is. What a cheesy suit of armor. Who would buy this crap? <laughs> but yes, this is the standard equipment shop, which has most, most of what it has is stuff that we actually already have, but you can use it for synthesis reasons. 
-hmm. which we will undoubtedly be going to the synthesis shop. Uh, if you do buy a javelin, like I did, do not do anything with it. Hold on to it forever. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. Why? <laughs> Uh, we will see later, but it is required for a particular thing, and uh, you cannot get it after what would be disc number one. Eventually, the shop's inventory will change, and you cannot obtain a javelin anywhere. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Then how do you get the one uh, you need? After that point, you don't. Oh. That's why I say, if you buy one like I did, do not get rid of it. Here we see uh, Taurus yelling at his son, Wayne, <clears throat> about uh, slacking when being a synthesis shop synthesizer. You slacker. <laughs> exactly. But this is the synthesis, synthesis shop, which uh, you can make. A lot of good stuff, such as Zidane's Thief Swords. And uh, they're a lot stronger. However, though, the game does something stupid and makes it to where you can make either a butter... Or not either or, but a Butterfly Edge and the Ogre. You're going to want to make the Ogre because it is a lot better. Here is where I finally realize, well, crap, I forgot to buy the Feathered Hats. <laughs> and so I cannot make Yellow Scarves anytime no. soon. Yeah, this is unfortunate because I want to make two yellow scarves. And I actually debated at this point about going back and re-recording. And I decided, nah, I, I, I've i already come this far. I'll just, I'll tough it out because you can purchase them from Dolly later, but not for quite a while. <laughs> I also purchased, out. yeah, <sighs> that's why I made sure to put uh, it in notes when we were in Dolly, if you do recall. Mm-hmm. But I purchased other materials, ma materials, 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 yes, for synthesis, because this is also our first real chance to make what are called add-ons in this game, which are basically accessories. That last equipment slot down at the very bottom that I'm kind of dragging my butt getting to uh, is where you equip add-ons. Add-ons, in addition to giving you a lot of skills, also have a lot of other effects. Here I show that the headgear... Um, reduces water elemental damage, which is really important for later. You want yes, desert boots or a glass buckle? Yes, a glass buckle or desert boots. I picked the gra glass buckle because of the abilities it has, I believe, and because of the stats that it adds. In addition to letting you learn various skills, uh, it will... Uh, Add-ons also have various other effects, such as stat increases, uh, elemental defenses, elemental strengths, Accessories, or rather add-ons, are really important, and most of them you're going to be getting through synthesis shops. That, did you get much use out of synthesis, Lacey? I did, but I did not prepare myself well because I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, you, you do have to kind of know a little bit in advance. And if you, if you didn't get the 10,000 gil, then uh, you're probably a lot lower on money. Than yeah, I, I did not get point. the 10,000 gil, and it was extremely hard to do some of this. Yeah. That, and I didn't and so know how to sell things till much later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now we're heading to the theater district, which is where Zidane's uh, Tantalus hideout is. Uh, this lady has a very purple dress. I like her hat. She does have a very nice hat. That said, she thinks the air cabs look mundane. What do you think? Do they look mun mundane? I like them. Ooh, active time event. Indeed. So we get this active time event if we've seen Small Town Night, that active time event, which you should see because there's absolutely no reason that you can't. And if you went and talked to the guy with the steam engine in his house. Mm, I see. And this is kind of a continuation of the small town night. See, Steiner's lost. He's just trying to get back to the castle. I like how the grandpa, the old man's making fun of him. Like, geez, you're useless. Everybody, everybody makes fun of Steiner in this game. 
Because he deserves to be made fun of because he is useless. He oh, poor Steiner. <laughs> Vivi makes him good in battle, but otherwise Steiner's a lame. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yes and no, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, we, uh, excuse me, we see the Hildegard version 2, I believe, is what that is, which is an airship that also is supposed to use a steam engine that Sid is trying to build. Why he doesn't just follow the blueprints of the first Hildegard airship when building it? Um, well, I know why, but, uh, <laughs> it's... Nobody else does yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's stupid. Just <laughs> to throw that out there. It's, it's dumb. Uh... Here's Tim! Play some card games! I forget if I play card games now or not. Like, I, I can't remember. I do play card games a few times, and uh, not to spoil too much, but against a really tough opponent, I get a perfect later on, but we won't see that for a long time. Who is the suspicious Lowell person they're talking about? Huh, who is Lowell? For, well, we might find out, but first I want to show something that not many people seem to know is in this game. And, Pigeon uh, that's lovers. This sign. That's this sign over here. Pigeon turtle alert. I have never seen that. Most people, for some reason, don't know that's there. <laughs> it's not something you would look for, to be honest. I really don't look for signs to warn me of pigeon turds, but... <laughs> so, a fun little story. Me and Lacey are part of a Discord group, and when this game first was re-released -re on the Switch, uh, I took a screenshot of that, me seeing that sign, and several people didn't believe that it was a real screenshot, that it was actually in the game. They thought it was made up. They did not. They thought you had better skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, come, on, come on! It's a pigeon turd sign. It's in the game. <laughs> but yeah, that's rather humorous. In here is an artist which has a chest. paint on the church walls. Yes. Okay, then. It is a very uh, egotistical artist. Apparently. He's all... Yeah, he thinks he's all that and a bag of chips. You're just hush puppies. Hush puppies. You're not even There's... an entree. You're just the not... extras they give you. Full oh, of onions. Man. Full of onions. You know what? I used to love hush puppies. Nope, they're disgusting. We're going to go see Lowell too? Uh, yeah. Or, wait, I think I said no. Yeah, I don't think he'd want to see you either. It's like... <laughs> Member number 36. Yeah, she's a wow. bit of a bitch. That's a she. <laughs> yes, it is a she. They are all she's. Apparently, that all must be attractive. Well, <laughs> that's that's the rumor, anyway. Mm. But here is where all of the members are gathered. Uh, we proudly present Moogle Wannabe 2. And I wish I were a chocobo. Oh, he's an actor! Yes, he is an actor. And uh, Moogle Wannabe 2 is sold out. His tour ends today, apparently. And uh, she wonders so if he'll eat her cookies. Who am I? I'm Sir Zidane of Tantalus, the greatest thief in the world. Oh. <laughs> wow. Or Zidane. The fact that he brags yeah. about it, it's not a very clever thief. No. Where's Lul? That poor security guard. But uh, there he is. Kiss me, hold my hand, kiss me, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys, even though it's all girls. And he just up and leaves. And mm -hmm. out comes a Moogle. No, there's someone in the Moogle. It's a costume. <laughs> it's the Moogle man. <laughs> so, fun fact, this is sort of brought up again a little bit in Final Fantasy X-2, which I find hilarious. 
Hey, you're... No, I'm not! Ow. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I like how he's a huge giant Moogle. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he's part of Moogle wannabe, too. And apparently these, these, these girls aren't the smartest. Nope. He's in a, he's in a show called Moogle Wannabe 2. He's obviously going to be a Moogle. Y yeah. <laughs> and uh, here's member number 29, who was supposed to meet member 28, who got fed up with waiting. I see. A big Moogle just walked by. You guys are all stupid. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> But if we head back into the artist's studio, we find Lowell. And we received his autograph. Ooh! I like his hair. It's pretty. <laughs> Lacey is fan member number 47. Shh! <laughs> And as you can see, Michael, or Michelle, yes, Michael? Michael is a super douche. Yeah, a yeah, little bit. Not that Lowell's all that much better. I wouldn't get involved with him if I were you. Well, okay, uh, that's... Yeah, that ain't gonna fly. Over here is a Moogle suit! <gasps> we get the Moogle suit? I didn't get the Moogle suit. Now I'm very disappointed in myself. Yeah, I don't believe you can do anything with it. Yeah, but being uh, able to have it. It would yeah, be fun to walk around true. as a Moogle. And that would be fun. Uh, I forget what you have to do to trigger it, but there is something you can do with Lowell. Which should be relatively obvious. But for now, let's head into the Tantalus hideout. And if you're like me, first thing you notice is treasure chest. But, yeah, it looks like the gang of Tantalus has not made it back yet, because no one's been here in a while. Apparently, they have not made it back. Nope, and Zidane is bored. He is very bored. Surprised and, you and care with all the other girls. Yeah, yeah really. I mean, they're everywhere outside of the theater place. Mm-hmm. The performance in the theater district must have just ended. I'd like to point out that the Moogle is gone. It is gone. <laughs> Garnet just wants to go outside and look around, but, uh... Yeah, they're not gonna let her. Yeah, that's not... That's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up, but I do understand. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, she's not supposed to be there. There's tension between Alexandria and Lindblom a little bit. Yeah, it's apparently she's been kidnapped, and so, yeah. Mm. So, I can understand, but she does point out, well, this just friggin' sucks. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's boring. Yep. But here are two members of Tantalus. <laughs> yes, they are two members. And they show us Trick Sparrow Wings. What? Trick Sparrows. Trick Sparrows are a monster for the record. I see. <laughs> So, what's she like? Is she cute? Did you ask her out yet? <laughs> the kids already know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gosh, kids these days. <laughs> yeah, you should go see her. Good luck. Main story quest. Kids tell you what to do. <laughs> and Lacey just summarized so much of Final Fantasy. <laughs> but here we get Gil. Gil. For a tre treasure group, they sure do leave money around. Y yeah, <laughs> and it's not even well hidden. Well, Mo 
And I'm looking around, see if there's any more gil, but uh, let's check up here. Nope, but there is a mini Burmesia, which is a key item. Ooh. Which I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I think it's actually something we can sell later, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. Now we Ooh, get to see an active... Ooh, what happened with Tantos? Baku. Who Tantos. sneezed? <laughs> That tasted good. But yeah, apparently they got out of the evil forest and survived. Before it got petrified, which makes me question why we didn't bump into them. I think they went different ways. I guess that's true. I mean, it could be. Here we find out that Baku thinks that, for the time being, the evil forest should probably stay petrified. Which, by extension, means blank, that poor guy, is going to stay petrified as well. Mm. He also told um, Cinna over there, who is screwing around making coffee, to get the passengers of the theater ship water, and uh, Cinna's just making coffee. I'm just chilling. Yeah. The coffee is important. Most important the coffee. Of the day. <laughs> it is actually really important. And you're going to want to remember that he made coffee there. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, that's true. No, please, not that! Yeah, yeah, if you don't listen to the boss of your group, they, they get pretty mad. Yep. But they didn't tell us where they are now. They just said, oh, look, there's a cave and we're out of the forest. Yep. Basically, they're all doing okay. They're I'm alive. glad to know that they didn't leave Blank behind. Like, they still care about him. We're going to try and help him. Yes. They do Honor want to help him. Thieves. I guess. But they do want to try and help him. It's just until they know a way of curing just blank, they don't think it's a good idea to do anything to restore the evil forest, which I think makes sense. I don't know. Do you agree with that, Lacey? I, I kind of agree with it. I mean, I get why they wouldn't want to, because then that would spread to, like, the rest of the continent, but... Mm-hmm. I don't see how they're going to rescue him without waking everything else up, too. Yeah. I'm not sure. Before... Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, before we end this part off, because I am paying attention this time, <laughs> uh, we are going to, I believe, go and get some treasure that is near Lindblum. You can actually exit Lindblum onto a plateau, which does have uh, enemy encounters, so you can level up and grind for money should you want. That'd be really nice for that synthesis shop if you didn't get that 10k before. Yes, that is the main reason I'm bringing it up now. But there's also treasure over here at... Is it going to tell us? I guess not. <laughs> Pinnacle Rocks. At Pinnacle old Rocks. Man's ghost. Yes, there is apparently an old man's ghost. Uh, we won't be seeing that yet. But there is treasure here, and so I want to grab it before we end off. There are two chests here. One's a little hard to see, though. Oh, I see it through the leaves. Mm-hmm. But a phoenix down, and much more importantly, an elixir. Mm-hmm. Which is nice to have. And so, folks, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of this. I'm thinking that next time on Final Fantasy IX, we're going to go and see how Garnet's doing. Mm -hmm. And maybe learn more about this hunt, feast hunt thing. Festival of the hunt. Festival of the hunt. There we go. That's the word. Yeah. Any oh, folks? time to save. Yep. Which you guys won't see. I'll see uh, you guys next time. See you later. Goodbye.